freezing issues on Libra Lec for this particular board have now been resolved. Stay tuned to learn a little bit more. Hi guys, so just a really quick update video for you. So I've only just done an update video just a few days ago and we've got another Libra Lec update just released. Now Kazak has fixed the freezing issue on these boards. These are the SL5Q underscore V2.0 motherboards that I started seeing about seven months ago coming from China. Now, everything works on it. LibreLec always did work on it. You could install it to the NAND internal memory on these things. You could dual boot it if you wanted to. The only problem is a couple of minutes, maybe half an hour into actually using LibreLec, whether that was just browsing through the menus or that was actually playing a film, etc., it would freeze. Now, since then, I've been in touch with Kazak. I think a lot of people have been in touch with Kazak to see if he could actually fix that issue. I don't think there was any clear reason why he was doing that. It was obviously some sort of compatibility issue somewhere and apparently it was a driver issue and Kazak in the last couple of days has fixed that issue so thank you very much Kazak for actually doing that. Now you can now dual boot it, you can install to NAND and it shouldn't freeze on you. You guys can actually go out and test that if you just so happen to have one of these boards and you can give me some feedback and tell me whether it's working or not. A member of our uh, Facebook group has already reported that it's actually running perfectly fine. So a few more updates, it's got legs coming along nicely, still plenty of issues to resolve but we're getting there slowly. As well as that, Barb's on 50 who does the ports for these boards, the SL5 as well as the S905. S912 Ambient ports. He's released an update for the SL5. So if you want, guys want to go and check that out, I shall leave the links in the description. Scott's actually tried this new release out and he says it includes quite a few um, features as well as that, um, you know, it's an overall better experience when running Ubuntu, which is Ambient for these boards. The only problem is there's still plenty of issues like audio and stuff like that, MP3 playback, but that's to be expected, you know. Hopefully in time we can get a fully polished uh, version of Armin for these boards. So big thanks to Bowers for actually doing that. So that pretty much concludes this video. Uh, if you liked it, don't forget to give me a like. If you disliked it, that's absolutely fine. You can give me a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe to the MXQ project. We're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers, which is why we're running the TX2 Android TV Box competition at the moment. I shall leave those links in the description for you guys to learn more. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Until next time, have a good one.